Welcome to BSc Statistics students. Now in this class I explain uh, problems in games without with Schadel point and 2 by 2 rectangular games without Schadel point. That is an example. I will tell you some particular problems. The problem 1 so I, and problem 2, 3. 3 problems I have uh, noted here. I explain one by one. right? So problem 1. What is problem 1? I specify here player A is having uh, uh, three strategies, player B also three strategies and uh, I write the payoff matrix for player A and so that uh, I calculate uh, first of all what we have to check, uh, we have to check whether the Schadel point exists for a uh, given problem. So these are the strategies for player A and player B, you have to calculate row minima row minima and column maxima column maxima the row minima first you calculate row minima the minimum it is 2 minus 2 and uh, here the second row minimum minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 I'm sorry minus 6 and the minimum for the third minus 8 and uh, you have to calculate among these minimum you have to calculate maximum maximum is minus 2 so i'm what i'm i'm make sir making uh, uh, that is a circle whichever minimum making uh, you make circle minus 2 minus 2 exists at two particular places so minus 2 minus 6 it is minimum minus 8 it is minimum so uh, this is the symbol that is our recognition for row minima um, uh, for which uh, you have to draw a circle uh, and then calculate column maxima column maxima first column the maximum element minus 2 so you have to uh, I will do it later on Ma second column maximum it is 20 third column maximum maximum is minus 2 so uh, now I am what I am doing is I uh, am um, n uh, rectangle n rectangle which means draw a square box uh, this is the column maxima for this second one column maxima is this 20 and then and then column maxima is this so therefore and again uh, I will draw here n rectangle for these elements and among which you have to consider you have to calculate uh, uh, one such uh, Minimum value, minimum among us, the maximum value is called minimax. So the minimax value is going to be considered the minimum is among this, the minimum minus 2, exist at two particular values. Okay. So hence it is, uh, uh, is going to be, I am, what I am doing, why I am doing circle is uh, here, uh, uh, minus 2 is the maximum, maximum among us, the minimum value. That is maximum. Now here minus two also minimax. So therefore I am doing circle and uh, n, n rectangle. That is the circle and n, n rectangle. That is square box. So this is uh, maximum value mu underscore. And this is these two. That is there are two exist which are minimax minimum among these maximum values maximum among these uh, minimum values so it is uh, denoted by mu upper score so these are coincides at which particular point at the point minus 2 at the uh, the value minus 2 at the point uh, here the one particular point here another particular point so hence it is it exists two particular uh, it exists at two particular point it is called shadil point the position at which the row uh, maximum and minimax uh, values coincides here it is uh, one value a1 b1 first row first column a1 b3 first row third column hence the shadil point is a1 comma b1 the first one shadil point the second one a1 b3 both are the shadil points there are two shadil point exist for this particular problem and the value of the game is equivalent to be maximum is equal to minimax the value is minus 2 it is equal to mu underscore, it is equal to mu upper score. Maximum and minimax values coincide at one particular value, uh, hence uh, at a particular uh, position, hence it is uh, 
shadil point and shadil point coincide shadil point uh, exists for this particular problem so therefore the solutions are mu is equal to value of the game it is minus 2 mm, the best strategies for player a and player b are uh, for player a a1 for player b b1 and b3 both gives the same um, kind of value that is the first problem problem 1 and problem 2 uh, we have another particular matrix here 5 4 2 3 right uh, i am writing player a a1 a2 and player b b1 b2 the map path matrix is this and 5 2 4 3 now again you calculate uh, similar fashion you calculate row minima first for any kind of problem you have to calculate column maxima you have to calculate the whether shadow point exists or not that is the case where shadow point exists does not exist the two kinds of cases you have to calculate uh, uh, value of the game differently row minima minimum 5 4 the minimum is 4 row minimum of second row 2 3 the minimum is 2 among which the maximum value is uh, mm, 4 so we will we'll do whether later on uh, max min min max coincides this is called uh, max min value max min value it is denoted by mu underscore and then uh, calculate column maxima maximum first column 5 and 2 maximum 5 4 and 3 second column maximum 4 among which uh, uh, the uh, minimum value of 5 and 4 the minimum value is 4 hence and rectangle and uh, column wise also and rectangle maximum here 4 and a minimum uh, the maximum the first one it is 5 and uh, in the row minimum value it is 4 hence it is uh, circle do the circle and uh, in second row minimum 2 do the do circle and uh, where uh, uh, circle and square both that is and rectangle and circle we have one particular element that is for 4 hence it is hence shadow point exists where this 4 is called mini max value mini max that is um, uh, max minimum value among the maximum values that is called mini max value it is not a mu upper score there is mu underscore is equal to mu upper score maximum is equal to mini max is equal to the value of 4 it exists at the position uh, a1 comma b2 it exists at the position this is a1 comma b2 that is first row second column element first row second column element both it is uh, having both circle and, and rectangle hence it is uh, the shadow point shadow point and uh, the value here exists at the shadow point is value of the game therefore mu is equal to maximum minimax therefore it is equal to mu mu is equal to 4 it is the value of the game that is about the second problem. So, second problem also shadow point exists. It is 2 by 2 game, it is 3 by 3 game. Uh, I have explained the uh, shadow point, uh, games with shadow point. These two problems are games with shadow point. Shadow point exists. The value of the game equal to min maximum minimax values. Is it clear? And then uh, problem 3, I consider a third problem. Third problem here A1, A2, I consider the payoff matrix and B1, B2. Again, I consider the payoff matrix uh, for one particular player um, that is player A 6, 4, 2, 5. Now, if you consider this is what uh, the payoff matrix, uh, again you calculate uh, maximum and minimax value. That is fundamental thing. Whichever the problem, you have to calculate uh, for every problem of game theory. You have to calculate first maximum and minimax values. Uh, minimum value in the first row it is 2 minimum in the second row 4 and 5 minimum 4 and now the maximum maximum value among that is uh, maximum amongst uh, these values it is 4 okay from the, um, uh, now I circle the elements here minimum in the first row 2 minimum here 4 now the maximum maximum values in the column it is 6 it is 5 so I uh, and rectangle. So these are the values of and rectangle, right? And uh, now what I calculate? Uh, I I calculate uh, uh, the maximum and minimax. Here now from this particular uh, 
uh, row minimums you have to calculate maximum so maximum value is 4 it is nothing but uh, maximum value maximum value mu up underscore and uh, among 5 and 6 you have to calculate uh, mm, minimax value minimum among us is maximum values is 5 so hence it is called uh, minimax it is denoted by mu upper score now maximum and minimax value are not equal so therefore here maximum is 4 minimax is 5 uh, hence uh, maximum and minimax value does not uh, that is not equal therefore shadil point does not exist shadil point is not going to be existed shadil point not exist so therefore what you have to do you have to apply you have to consider 2 by 2 rectangular games without shadil point because it is a 2 by 2 rectangular game now without shadil point we have certain formulas now for first of all i write the formula optimal strategies for player a it is you have to calculate in this fashion optimal strategies optimum strategies or optimal optimal strategies strategies for player a which are going to be calculated by for um, first of all you calculate p1 the p1 the formula is uh, a22 minus a21 divided by a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 so it is equivalent to a22 what is a22 here i write the values here this is a11 this is a12 this is a21 this is a22 a22 is this one minus a21 5 minus 4 divided by a11 a22 6 plus 5 minus a12 a12 a21 2 plus 4 so therefore finally this is the value 5 minus 4 is 1 uh, and uh, 11 minus uh, 8 so hence the value is uh, 11 minus 6 i'm sorry uh, 11 minus 6 hence the value is uh, 1 by 5 so similar no need to calculate the, use the formula for p2 p2 is directly 1 minus p1 is equivalent to be 1 minus 1 by 5 it is 4 by 5 clear so this is what the optimal strategies how do you write the optimal strategies uh, for player a the player a is the optimal strategies are going to be written as sa is equal to a1 a2 p1 p2 what are p1 p2 values 1 by 5 4 by 5 which probability is more greater 4 by 5 therefore player a uses uh, more on uh, uh, and rely and depend on more the strategy a2 rely on the strategy a2 now calculate optimal strategies this is the first point the second point you have to calculate optimal strategies for player b optimal strategies optimal strategies for player b again uh, i am considering the uh, formula just you calculate q1 that's enough to calculate remaining Q1 the formula is A22 minus A12 divided by same that is A11 plus A22 minus uh, uh, A12 plus A21. This is the formula, the standard formula is equal to. If you calculate this, uh, I calculate here. Uh, if you calculate uh, this value, uh, A22, A22 is 5 minus uh, A12, it is 2 divided by same thing that is uh, 6 plus 5. Uh, minus uh, uh, 2 plus 4 so it is 5 and 5 minus 2 is 3 3 by 5 so therefore obviously we can calculate from this q2 is equal to 1 minus q1 it is equal to 1 minus 3 by 5 it is equal to 2 by 5 therefore optimal strategies for player b are right here player b optimal strategies are sb is equal to b1 b2 with the probabilities q1 q2 q1 is uh, 3 by 5 and q2 is 2 by 5 so player b uh, prefer more uh, more on uh, more for, uh, uh, of the strategy b1 more the strategy b1 right uh, and the value of the game third point you have to calculate value of the game value of the game mu is equal to the formula a11 a22 minus a12 a21 divided by again the same a11 plus a22 minus of a12 plus a21 is it clear so is equivalent to b if you substitute the value here what you will get uh, the a11 the value here uh, 6 plus 6 multiplied by 5 minus uh, 
a12 that is 2 uh, multiplied by 4 divided by 6 plus 5 minus 2 plus 4. So, if you calculate the value, you will get the value 22 by 5. So, these are the values of uh, uh, optimal strategies for player A that is SA, optimal strategies for player B that is SB and the value of the game mu 22 by 5. You must have to check whether uh, this value of the game 22 by 5, it is nearly 5 fours, 5 fours, 4 fours, 4.4. 4. Uh, it must be lies in between maximum and minimax value. What is maximum? 4. Minimax value 5. It lies in between 4 and 5. Absolutely right. 4.4. 4. 4. Therefore, uh, that is the way to check the value of the game whether it is correct or uh, right or wrong. Right? It lies in between maximum and minimax value. Mu underscore and mu upper score. So, that is uh, I write here mu underscore must be less than or equal to mu less than or equal to mu upper score. This is the relation between uh, value of the game maximum and minimax values, right? So, this is the way you have to calculate the problems, right? Particularly, uh, Schadil point, how to get the Schadil point and then uh, uh, for 2 by 2 rectangle games without Schadil point, without Schadil point for 2 by 2 rectangle games. So, I have considered these two topics and uh, explained the problems. Hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you very much.